Have you ever considered learning or thought English is hard to learn or boring to learn? Tenses form the background of English language and it plays the most important part in English grammar. If you wish to write a correct sentence or wish to say anything to anyone, you need to express the idea in the right form of tenses. This video has a lot for you which will make you feel that tenses are much easier to learn. Here we have tried to ease the process of learning tenses in English in a very simpler way. For each tense, I will show you the form, the different uses and share with you the different examples to make the concept more easier. So let's begin. exactly is the tenses. In English grammar, words are often used in a way that it indicates or denotes the time when an event occurs. These verbs that take a different form to indicate the time of an action, event or condition by changing its form are called tenses. That is, it actually describes when an action happened with respect to time. The time the action took place could be past, present or future. Tenses plays a crucial role in English language and it denotes the time and action that takes place whether something happened in past, in present or it was taken or happened in future. From a general view of tenses, this module will go on to discuss each tense in detail with examples and here the circle represents the present time, the line left to the circle is the past time and the line to the right is the future time. Do remember this timeline properly as we are going to use this timeline for understanding when an action took place with respect to the time. Tenses are broadly classified into three categories that is past tense, present tense and future tense. With each of these tenses, there are four aspects associated with it. An aspect here refers to the nature of action performed by the verb. They are simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. This way we get the total possibilities of 12 tenses in English grammar. Let us understand more about each of these groups of tenses. We can consider this as a family tree to make it more easier. When the grandparent tense is having three children, that is past, present and future tense and each parent is having four sons, that is simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous, making or binding them all, it becomes 12 siblings. So we are going to learn each of them. Before that, it is important to revise the form of verbs. Verbs are mainly divided into five forms. That is, base form will be denoted with V1. Past form as V2. Past participle as V3. S or ES form as VS and ES. And ING form as V with ing form. Let's understand this with some examples. Let's take the verb as dance. The base form of dance is dance. Past form is danced. Past participle is danced. The S or ES form of dance is dances. And an ing form of dance is dancing. Let's take one more example. The base form of go is go. The past form will be went. The past participle will be gone. The S or ES form will be goes. The ING form will be going. Hope you are clear with the verb form. In the next video, we shall see the all simple tenses in detail. So don't forget to press the red subscribe button and click on bell icon to receive the latest updates. Do like, share and comment the video. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Happy learning.